Game one of the World Series is set to kick off tomorrow. I've got two more of these mystery dual packs from Walgreens. I made sure to get the ones with the tops chrome on the top. And I'm going to guess Allen and Ginter is going to be on the bottom of each pack. Here we go. Ozzy Albies, Andrew Benatendi, Austin Meadows, and we have a black and white speckle of Eddie Rosario. Not bad. Jake Cronenworth, who had a down year statistically compared to what he did the past two seasons. Hall of Famer, Ernie Banks, Mr. Cub, part of that 500 home run club. And also set the record for playing in the most career games without ever appearing in a postseason. Lou Pinella, who will be appearing on the Contemporary Era ballot, along with several other players, mostly managers and ex-managers. What's cooking? Diamond Crystal Kosher Salt. And we finish off with the hammer, Hank Aaron. Two-time MVP. All right, it's going to be the same with this box pack. Sean Murphy, formerly with Oakland, but now with the Braves, coming off his first All-Star appearance and set a career high in home runs and RBI this year. Looks kind of like Kramer from Seinfeld, but that is a Stephen Dubner author and world-renowned journalist. J.P. Crawford, National Twins Day. Ah, we have a black mini border parallel of Mr. Padre, Tony Gwynn, the last National League player to come closest to hitting 400 in a season. He batted 394. That was a 1994. Now, that was a truncated season due to the strike. But yeah, this guy was one of the best pure hitters that baseball has ever seen. And Matt Hamilton. Tops Chrome. Zach McKinstry. Jorge Posada. Four rings with the Yankees. Wade Boggs. Four-time batting champ. Perennial All-Star. World Series winner. 3,000 hits. And Hall of Famer. And Trevor Bauer. This is an aqua, and it's going to, it's not numbered. Trevor Bauer was in the news earlier this year, uh, not too long ago, actually. Turns out the accusations against him might have been uh, exaggerated, to say the least. But uh, yeah, that, uh, that woman, and I use woman very loosely, really went out of her way to uh, wreck his career. I mean, he's not innocent either, but uh, perhaps Major League Baseball took a uh, preemptive strike and perhaps destroyed this man's career. I don't know if he'll ever play again in the big leagues, but uh, when he was in his prime, he was something special to watch. But that will conclude this baseball rip. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit like and subscribe, and have a wonderful Thursday.